I know. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, As you guys can tell from the so chaos, <laughs> we have a lot of people here. Welcome everybody to Apostolic Children's Ministry Podcast. We have the whole gang nearly here. We have so many people. Uh, we have, let's just go around the room right now. We have to my left. Let's start with Sister Kim. Brother Danny. Brother Julian. Julian's on the way. <laughs> It's your turn. Oh, it's, it's Brianna who missed her cue. Bree always has a tough time inserting herself into the conversation. We've always known that. Uh, Tristan. Oh, and you got to talk where people can hear no, you. No, she missed her opportunity. Oh, no, no, get back. <laughs> <laughs> and we have for our first time, we have big rounding applause for Keith Zamora. Come on, Keith. Tell, I don't know, say something interesting about yourself. Uh, my name's Keith. Oh, okay, stop there. <laughs> it can go sideways. Uh, no, but Keith has been in Sunday school for how long now? Uh, whew, year and a half. Year and a half. Ish. And is like one of my the funniest people in the world to me. Oh, you can make me laugh when you're just like talking. Like you're not even trying to be funny. You just you're funny. You're just funny guy. Uh, why don't you tell us real quick? Because we've asked this to everybody at one time or another, but not you yet. Mm-hmm. How did you get involved in Sunday school? Um, I got involved with Sunday school through bus ministry. And I got involved with bus ministry because um, I started having kids. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how that tied into bus ministry. There are a lot of people with kids that aren't in bus ministry. Yeah. So how did yeah. you get involved and, uh, you, yeah. you, you know, my thought process was, well, if I want my kids to grow up doing the work of God, then I need to lead by example. I love it. And so, so we good. jumped on a bus. And that led into Sunday school, which led into junior camp, which led into <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I all, that. all the other Which led opening. into the epic moment of junior camp history. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keith mm-hmm. eating a banana that was opened with someone's toes. <clears throat> it was the disgusting, <laughs> filthy, and hilarious. I, I will try to top that. Next. To no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't happen. think you'll need to try. I think it'll happen. <laughs> But uh, no, we are so glad that you are involved in Sunday school. Um, I think him accepting his awards at camp was pretty epic. That was awesome. That's true. Rookie of the year. How do you even describe it? (laughs) I expected this long, flowing, eloquent thank you because he goes, thank you to my mom. That's it. (laughs) It's awesome. And nobody knows why. I I covet that award and my kids know uh, they're not allowed to touch it. So... (laughs) Sometimes I'll come home and, and it's it's been uh, swiped and I gotta go around gotta go. with oh, with a wooden spoon and make empty threats and eventually it shows back up. <laughs> so the award was Rookie of the Year, which goes to campers, by the way. That's what that's for. It's for a kid that's never been to camp. But Keith had never been to camp and he was voted unanimously as Rookie of the Year because he was just a hoot. <laughs> he brought he brought a a. a, 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 a an angle to camp that no one had ever seen before. I don't know how else to describe it. He started off with his his rendition of a was it baboon? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Is that what it was? Uh, like a, 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 a orangutan. It was an orangutan. Yeah. 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 In, in the talent show. In a, yes. a very a very oh, improv weird. talent show. It was amazing. <laughs> you didn't know you were in the talent show until and so you got on the stage and they told you what you were doing. So. Yes. Yeah, it was terrible. A lot of fun. Was, I mean, it was interesting. So far, we have not talked Sunday school oh, yeah. at all, or maybe we have. I mean, I mean, wow, we derailed this. Things that we do in Sunday school. school teachers go to junior camp, so it's basically the same thing. It is. Yeah, you're just there. What for you guys are yeah. hearing yes. is is pretty typical of when we get together. <laughs> Uh, we, I've, I've said that everywhere I go, I genuinely say this is the coolest, best Sunday school team on the planet. Or children's ministry. I don't even know how to... I don't children's know. It's ministry. not Sunday school. Yeah. BBS. It is correct. It, 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 it covers a lot of ground, doesn't yeah. it? So, um, but it's, it's, it's sadly a little bit rare that we all genuinely like each other. <laughs> like, I think you guys are really cool. Like, I, I talk about our WhatsApp chat. Like, when we have something funny to share, we generally see, they're like, pretending they don't even like each other. Right now. <laughs> Whatever. I, we're not falling for it. We post it there typically because they're like, yeah, they'll think it's funny. When nobody else does, they will think it's funny. At least Brie will. Yeah, Brie will, yes. <laughs> Brie will thumbs up it, reply. And give you know something a equally, something. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. yes, forward it to another chat. And some yes. kind of encouragement. <laughs> yes, 
if she doesn't reply, you know it's really yeah, fell flat. Just, like, just, the, the that worst. That you just like quit the chat. Yeah. You're yeah. Just, you're just not even that it fell flat. Busy. Like, what is wrong? Where's Bree? Somebody yeah. please yeah. call her. Like, she's like, like there, there, there have been times when she's AWOL from the chat. And everyone's worried. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, it's like she hasn't responded in 30 seconds. Is she okay? Yeah. Wait. Call the Send. police. <laughs> exactly. Oh. oh, my goodness. So, uh, just oh, yeah. to give some context for what we're doing, this podcast, of course, oh, yeah. and we hadn't recorded since February. February <gasps> of this year. Yeah. And here we are in September. Shame. Shame. August. Shame. August. Shame. August. I knew that, too. Uh-huh. I totally knew that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so here we are six months later, and I've had different people um, give gentle but, but firm nudges to say, hey, you, you aren't doing what you said you were going to do, which is record no matter what, that sort of thing, and then not edit and just post it no matter the quality. And so I was finally in Chehalis, Washington with Brother Gabe Baker, and he gave me like like yeah, this, yeah. you're here, we are recording a podcast sort of thing. I said, oh, yes, yes, we are. And so we recorded with their equipment, posted it, and I made him a promise that day that I was going to record at least one more in the next two weeks, and this is our second one in two weeks. Yeah. Boom, it's our third one in a row. Clap when you just can't hear it. Because <laughs> Keith has a broken hand. He's clapping on his cast. Broken broken finger? Yeah. Yeah, because he was wrestling some young boys up at men in, uh, men in training. I thought I was young. And, uh, then he you proved he's not. Then, then, then reality hit me. <laughs> or Trenton. Or something. <laughs> one, one of these young bucks. That... Yeah, so uh, let's just talk about what's been happening. Now, uh, we had a Holy Ghost route. No, Stop. don't talk about what's happening. Oh, no. Not yet. Hold on. Well, we have to cover Holy Ghost Rally. You guys weren't here at the Holy Ghost Rally, so there's plenty of other people that had input. So once every eight weeks-ish, assuming that the calendars uh, cooperate, we have a Holy Ghost Rally, which is where all of our classes come together. We have a mini church service for our classes from toddlers to teens. And we, ooh, that kind of sounded cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I like that. I just float. <laughs> and we kind of have some fun, wild preliminaries, but it, it does shift focus pretty quick. And then we just have someone preach. And almost without fail, someone gets the Holy Ghost because it's a, it's a, a good environment. And the kids know now what to expect as far as how to pray in the altars. Um, when someone prays for you in the altar, they, they, they know what to uh, expect with repentance about uh, receiving the Holy Ghost. It's just it's just expected at this point that someone's going to get the Holy Ghost. It doesn't we can't force it, right. but it generally does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so let's go through Sunday. So okay. you guys, you, we had one. So it started out with Sister Leia and Greg. Do you want me to pull up the schedule, or do you have the schedule memorized? Because I can pull it up. It started out with the hurricane. Yeah, it started out with the hurricane. Oh, let's talk hurricane. Okay, okay, okay. It started out with the hurricane. Is what happened? Yeah. Let's talk hurricane because we're in California and we don't get hurricanes, and so we're all excited because we get a we get our very own hurricane. Okay, you people in Florida and Texas are thinking we're stupid, and we are. Okay, we want. Wanted, well, like, we kind of were looking forward to it in a weird sort of weird way. Yeah, yeah. Am I the only one? Yeah. I wanted to watch it. I wanted to watch it from the safety of my house. I did not want to be out in it. My brother came over because I was waiting. out of town and not here. That's why I was anticipating it so much because <laughs> oh. I wasn't here. <laughs> no, but my brother came over and like prepped the backyard and put all the lo- the furniture stacked in a corner and flipped the trampoline so it wouldn't blow into the neighbor's windows. And then we got, and then we got some rain. And so I kept doing updates on the weather because I was at a place and and everybody's seeing the disaster that's about to hit oh, LA. Yeah. Brother Julian is out here. Julian, I'm clapping. You just can't hear. It. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're hearing about this hurricane, and I'm on the weather app doing like refresh, refresh, refresh. Are, is anyone dead? Is my house still standing? Has the church roof been lifted off? I don't know. And I keep yeah. refreshing because the people that I'm with. Have been in these like for reals, yeah. Like literally, the the, the girl, uh, the the daughter in law of the pastor there, uh, where she was supposed to be married, the roof got ripped off their church the week before. No way. Yeah, and the week before their wedding, and oh. so they had to get married somewhere else. And so she knows how bad these things are. So they're like, oh my goodness, are they okay? So I keep refreshing. I'm calling Jen. Is everything okay? And I'm getting these weird reports like yeah it's kind of sprinkling and it's like two mile an hour winds it's like okay i'm thinking well that doesn't sound like any hurricane it was it was okay i was so excited because it was like out in the ocean it was like category four hurricane i was like come at us we got this (laughs) we've experienced santa Ana winds we got this basically the same thing 
thing. Yeah. And then it hit the shore and turned like, into like this little like, whispery okay, so breeze. Like, <laughs> turned to category one before it even hit the The people I was with actually said, you guys don't even know how to have a hurricane, do you? <laughs> I was like, no, we really kind of don't. Yeah, it went from like category right. four to category one and then just tropical And then storm. it turned into a little light, breezy, sunny day. Yeah, it was, so it was I, Florida. They canceled my flight and when I flew in, it was 80 degrees and I'm looking around, there's not a leaf off a tree, like <laughs> everything's perfect. I'm yeah, thinking, yeah. My phone for like two days said it was raining and it was not. <laughs> yeah, okay. We, and that was because it was close. <laughs> okay, at 1 a.m., I was waiting. I was standing by the screen door because I'm like, I'm watching this Me rain. Me too. Uh, it's and I'm at 2.30 it, in the morning and I'm, I'm like, all right, I stayed I'm up till 3 o'clock waiting. I'm holding it waiting. said rain and I'm like Nothing. holding it in front of the screen. I'm like, I don't know how to tell you how this. How do you So I drove in from Arizona on the 10 freeway and it got washed out. It got washed out right past Bob Hope Drive. So you did experience some... Oh, yeah. I, we drove through I'm the I'm so excited to hear this. Whoa. Tell us, about, okay. Okay. Tell us so, about the heartache that you experienced in our hurricane. Well, here are my woes. Okay. <laughs> Lay it on. So we went out to Arizona to stay with some friends. We uh, went to the Winkler's church, uh, Pastor Josh Winkler, um, on Sunday... And after the service, we drove back. Well, we drove into the, I guess it downgraded from a hurricane to a tropical storm by the time we hit the road, but it was still flash flooding. It was pretty crazy. So right past Bob Hope Drive, flood wiped out the freeway both sides. A couple cars got stuck in the mud. See, people, we do have hurricanes. <laughs> well, <laughs> Arizona did. And yeah. that's what well, it was. That was like Palm Springs. It was near Palm Springs. Springs. Okay. Yeah. It's always like Between Palm Springs and Arizona. Cathedral City, basically. Yeah, rains, so it's like that. we were stuck on the freeway for hours. Eventually, I let my kids out of the car, and they were running up and down the side of the freeway. <laughs> oh, you, I'm in the car for hours with, with three small children, and it was... So it was getting it was getting hairy, so um, <laughs> we finally were able to it talk to someone. It could have been too hairy if you're running up and down the outside, <laughs> I mean, right? Well, well exactly. The freeway was shut down completely. In the car, okay. in the car it was just <laughs> it was a hurricane. Yeah, in the car. <laughs> <laughs> there was more of an emotional hurricane than a physical one. I'm assuming. So after waiting for a few hours, they said, "Yeah, it's going to take another six to eight hours if you guys want to wait." So we ended up driving against traffic on the freeway wow. and getting off the off ramp. I drove around Cathedral City for about an hour before I found a way out back onto the ten, and then we headed home. So we got delayed like four hours. Wow! Oh, yeah. nice. See people. It's not all sunshine in California. It's it's sprinkles. Yeah, it's yeah. sunshine and floods yeah. and confusion. Yeah. And, and we still rain haven't rain. talked about Sunday school. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can still relevant. Julian's over here going, "What did I just walk into? You guys are psychotic." <laughs> we started Sunday. We started with the hurricane. Holy okay. okay yeah. Yes. Yes. We, so we were all we all the buses were ready to go out. We even we had prayer. And then it started out with... Well, I have it right here. Pre-class game activity, Greg and Leia? Yes. What did they do? They that was actually pretty four. fun. They had the, um, the Connect Four, and they actually had the people in behind the thing, so they couldn't see what slot they were doing, oh. and, and like they couldn't see the little chips as they were going to see who you know where they can block. So that was pretty neat. They, they had to do it they were blind? Kind of tra- yes. They were kind of trusting what the kids were saying. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's like Battleship? Okay. But they were like, like, Ooh, like, yeah. they were, wow. like they were telling like, Battle Four, Battle Four. <laughs> hey. Connect Ship. We are, oh! Cre- oh! Yes. We, are, we are creating magic yeah. as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Julian is still going, what have I walked into? <laughs> like, I have to catch up. Yeah. And then, you step out of this conversation yeah. for one second, you're, you're in trouble. Yeah. Dude. Yes. Come back to a completely different <laughs> conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was our icebreaker game, yes. and then it went into rules, birthdays, weekly challenge, yes. mission offerings. Sarah and Erica Toronto. That was Sarah. Well, did not, Sarah didn't. No, Sarah I ended up helping Sarah. Erica. Oh, yeah, yeah. and then we did an action song. What song did we do? We did. Oh, so we did Deep Cries Out. Ooh, I love Deep Cries because of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> the whole theme. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're not kidding. No, no, no. no. Bro, that's awesome. That that's what Delaney said. Yeah. Like, I'm falling into <laughs> deeper. Yeah. yeah. So that's it was great. Deep Cries Out, and then the other song was. Oh, stand together. Was it live? Stand together. Stand together. Uh, soundtracks. Stand together. Yeah, yeah. There were well, there were soundtracks. I think. Both. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then they there are. If you guys haven't seen D Craze out, I don't remember who it is. Bethel, I think. Yeah, Bethel, Bethel Kids. Kids. Bethel. It's it's really a good song. It's really 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 good. So sing it in your Sunday school. And my legs still hurt that. from that day. And the actions are fun for yeah. it too. Yeah. yeah, they're they're really good. Yeah. Like the awards didn't happen, so what we did is we did like a a game instead that yeah. we gave. 
prizes out to them. Nice. Okay. Worship, that was a good compliment. Then a worship a song, and then we have the Jonathan Flores preach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So the worship song we did, Falling in Love with Jesus. Oh, we yeah. Did, we, so they did it, like, live, and then they, like, cut and cut everything. So it was, like, just to give me. Uh, yeah. It was, it was wow. beautiful. It was nice, actually. And then we had preaching. Yes. And uh, so how, how, what message did he... Who so preached? Yeah, oh, nice. <laughs> Basically, at least from what I remember, is he talked about how no circumstance is too extreme yeah. for yeah. God. Like, God's <clears throat> not too small. He's not too afraid of what circumstances you're going through. Like, nothing can scare God into, yeah. like... Even hurricanes. Yes. yes. Even sissy hurricanes. Even yes. our hurricanes. Even California hurricanes. California hurricanes. Fake hurricanes. Like, a water hose would appear. Impossible yeah. hurricanes. <laughs> I think I had more of a hurricane walking to Chick Fil A the other day. I had a fan with the Mister. This is a category three at least. <laughs> at least, uh, and even here, like it's spring, it gets like the serenade winds. Like, yeah, I, that's more. Chaotic. Or the rains yes, we got at the beginning. You of the people year. out yeah. there, that you really nice. don't understand. We we since like most people here were very disappointed we didn't get our roofs ripped off. Yes. <laughs> like, there, there was a piece of us like that were that were like, like really missing that. I know, I got home and my dog was still there. <laughs> like, come on, what was that? I left my dog at home when we went on vacation because I had nobody to watch him and I was sure I was going to come back to a dog just floating in water. <laughs> 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 Because of that, but like I was not expecting to come home to a dog that was alive. <laughs> anyway, there's some background here that we're not going to dig into too deep, but that may or may not have happened to somebody else on this table. Okay, uh, uh, moving on. But any homes. So Sunday for the Julian and Sister Cam were in Visalia. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? So what's cool is that. Uh, you guys are starting to travel more, going to different churches. You get to see what other churches are doing, or rather, uh, I guess, bring kind of what we do there, but you get to see it in their environment and their yeah. people. So tell us about it. Yeah, so that's really since the start of the year has happened for me, us and our family. Uh, we've been requested to go to a few different churches. Well, this month we went to Visalia. I was correct on how to say it. I say it wrong. Visalia <laughs> is wrong. Visalia. That's how you say it. It's correct. I didn't hear any difference. Oh, I, I, I was corrected a few times. There's a difference. So, yeah, so I've been working on making sure I say it correctly. It's not, so it's not by sale, it's by sale. It's not sale, it's sale. Sale. By sale. Sale, yeah. Sale. Sale. I've been saying it my whole life, and I have no idea how I say yeah, it. I've been corrected. Just so, anyway. Just say it. So anyway. So we'll just assume uh, so, that you say it different than us. <laughs> so we went, and it was a great service. We did a uh, like a hot Cheeto theme. Uh, actually, it's kind of cool. We just did that here for one of our Holy Ghost rally services. And basically, we did like these hot chips that were our backdrop, and we decorated with like the hot Cheeto colors. We had uh, flames uh, for like our fire. It was really cool, and we did the Acts chapter 2 story. Uh, we did, uh, obviously, we hit repentance, baptism, Jesus' name, assuming you the Holy Ghost. But it was so much fun, because they, they, the church was packed. The church holds 160 people. There was 168 there. So we were full to the brim. Uh, everyone was just, like, rocking and screaming with all the songs, the chants, the, all the motions. Uh, the altar call was really great. And we had two kids get the Holy Ghost. But it's been really fun. So we take whatever we do here and just do it there, you know. And um, the, their, their Sunday school team or anyone who is interested will help us. Also, uh, we did a seminar Saturday night. So we, we sat and we talked about just really I just shared my burden with Sunday school. And so everything. Pastor Ryan Gregg <clears throat> just took the church not too long ago. And he is like the bus ministry guru. Yes. 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 If you've never heard of his sessions at the last... Uh, seminar that we had in Redlands, or not the last one, sorry, two years ago. ago. It is literally life changing. Like his, yes. l- my brother Larry, who's been around this forever, he said he literally just followed him around wherever he went. I want anything he's saying, I want it. Yeah. It's like Brother Lackey tonight. Oh my oh, word. Yes. He is, if you guys so ever heard good. Tim Lackey, he's the greatest Bible study teacher I've ever yeah, heard in my life, and I've heard a bunch. He's phenomenal. So just sorry, go on the off track yes. again. Yes. Listen yes. to tonight. Like yes. <laughs> go listen to everything he's ever taught. Yeah. 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 He's mind blown. Like, oh, so he is. He's, he's using big words. I was like, what? The <laughs> Bible study teacher on the planet. Really anyway, he's just yes. as good. 
Bible study teacher as Ryan Gregg is yes. bless ministry. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's boy, funny. we chase yeah. rabbits. And and <laughs> when I was teaching the, when I was sharing my birthday and I was talking about compelling them, you got to compel them to come. And I'm saying, we've got to do whatever it takes. We've got to use force, threats. But then I paused threats. and I looked at Brother Gregg. Yes. It's, when you actually use the translation, when they compel them, when you look that's at it. That's what Brian Gregg preached at so, the session. So, yes, yeah, so that's what I was getting at. He talked about we compel them. We do whatever it takes. But if you look at the translation of that word compel, threats is one of them. So I threaten my invites. No, we don't really yeah. threaten people. It's just, it's it's just the point else. is do whatever Don't it threaten takes. people to get them to church. Don't ever. Yeah, we There's don't do that. That's not what we do. That's not what we do. All of our invitations. But we do whatever it takes. We do whatever it takes. But as I'm teaching this, I forgot. Ryan Gregg was the one who showed that to us yeah. at the children's seminar. So I'm like... He's sitting right there in the crowd. <laughs> he's, he, at least he gave me an amen. Sorry, I was on the right page. You so. did good repeating that. <laughs> but I realized, I was like, hey, like, this actually came from you. But hey, it, was, it was really phenomenal. We had a, a great turnout, fun service. It was a lot of fun. And, and I'm telling you, going out, it, you get to just meet other people. You get to yep. see how they do things. Sister Truck jumped in on the skit. She's 72 years old. And she helped me with the skit. Like, that's like... How it's, fun. It's inspirational. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I, I hope like, I'm still 72 years old and willing to go yeah. up on a stage and she's play the castle. She'll be on. teaching. She's like, yeah. yeah. my dad's age. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> we all enjoyed that you joke. You need to pray. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it was, you know, it was amazing. And I'm, I, I think it's interesting... Your that age. Brother Ryan Gregg, yes, oh, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Ryan Gregg is literally one of the greatest bus ministry mm. teachers I know. Yeah. And he calls in somebody else to do it because sometimes people listen better from an outside voice. That's, true. Yeah. That's just amazing to me. Yeah. That's why, even with the incredible people we have in our local church that preach, yep. Pastor, Bishop, Brother Lackey, Brother Adam, all those incredible preachers, still we get people in all the time. Because it's may say many times a variation of the same thing we just heard, but it's like, oh, that's amazing, and I'm sure my brother's going, yeah, I taught that last week, <laughs> and you didn't have that reaction to it. And but, that's and that just adds uh, that shows like the pressure I felt. I mean, I know he didn't give me pressure, but oh no, no it's no, just no. that that like, I, and I didn't oh. mean that negative at all. No, no. I just mean it's 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 a human. Uh, characteristic that we genuinely I can't tell you how many times I've gone to my wife and said you know what why don't we do this and she's like I've I've already I've already suggested that over and over and over and I'm like yeah but so and so just gave me this idea I was like let's try it out and she's like I've been saying that so you know just gotta hear it from somebody else sometimes that's a different problem (laughs) (laughs) it's still human nature right right so That's anyway, cool. it was a lot of fun. Uh, we we loved uh, we loved the, our trip. Uh, we had a great time. We, we drove through the storm. No big deal. Oh, all slept. the way through. All the way. Oh, it, 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 it rained the whole time we were on the road. The guys. entire time. So it was only four hours. Define rain. No, like it, I like couldn't see. Okay, there was a point where it was completely foggy, and that I was could a great see like. Moment. Two feet oh, in front yeah. of me. Well, that's fog. That's different. just that's just the terrible, like hilarious fog. It's awful. So I didn't wake him up. Witness. I just hydroplaned and it rocked him to sleep. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to hear you guys were so safe. But my here. What about your trip? Did you talk about your trip already? No. <laughs> so we were we were in uh, two places. Summer's not fun. There's so many things going on in summer. So like, many things. We have all these. How many people do we have? We have one, two, going. three, four, five, yes, six, correct. seven people here, and we were in four places Sunday. Is that right? Yeah. You were in Mirage, El Mirage. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh, North Carolina, Kentucky, Visalia, here. Yeah. Yeah. That's bonkers. Seven people in four different places. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Summer's nuts. You were in two places <clears throat> at once? Well, back to back. So Tuesday through Thursday, Sunday, I was awesome. in Kentucky. Friday through Sunday, I was in North, North Carolina. Wow. Oh, yeah. uh, That's fair. <laughs> so we were at uh, the Maysville, Kentucky church. And I sent you guys some pictures of that. But they did such a good job with decorating the church and making it Kind of like what we have here a little bit, the, the garden, and it was like a bee theme, B-E-E, like a bumblebee or honeybee, bee long to God oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sort of thing. Be strong and courageous. Oh, be strong and courageous. Man, we get, how did we do that that quick? You just mentioned it and we all jumped in on it. That means we need to add it now. Yes, we do. That's a good song, too. It is a good song. Yes. So we did three nights there and then went to... Uh, North Carolina. And this, this is inspirational. They had their biggest Sunday ever in attendance. Hashtag goals. 
Yes. They, it was wild. So they, it, they just on two vans and a small shuttle bus. And <laughs> so we have a had a room, and the, the adults were in there as well, that was completely packed with people. And probably 80% of them had either never been to church or very little. Whoa. And so you have, you have a lot of people that you're trying to do what we, what we take for granted. Like when, when we teach that the kids know how to react to certain things, mm-hmm. they don't have a clue. Like you do an action song and you explain what we're doing and they're just like, what is this guy doing? Like he's, oh. he's, they've never seen an action song. They don't know what it is. And then they're, you're like, if uh, we're, we're doing a, uh, well, especially the altar call, you know, you're, you're walking through the process and some of them are responding for sure. And there was a lot, it, it turned into a good altar call, but man, it was rough at first because they had never experienced it before. Yeah. And you're, you're dealing with that with a whole room that has, is fresh to this. The last place I was at, and, and I'm, I am not even saying that we should do anything like this. I, I'm just going to tell you what happened. So. They were, this church was started by brother, uh, Johnny Goodair, who started oh, Durham, oh, North Carolina. Oh. One of the, like, just the incredible, most incredible men of God I know. Yeah. So that church is massive. In Durham, they have picked up on one Sunday, 1,200 bus kids on one day. Whoa. They averaged for the entire year, 600 kids a Sunday for an entire year. An average. That means bad Sundays included. Whoa. That was an average. So... Needless to say, Brother Godair believes in, in bus ministry. So they were telling me about how they were encouraged to do it because one of the, the bus captains at this place was a bus captain in Durham. And he said, um, yeah, it's, it's a minimum of four hours on Saturday. There's not optional. If you're a bus captain, you are required to do four hours. In fact, there's paperwork you fill out where you went, how much time you spent, how many flowers you passed out. And it goes to the pastor and he reviews them. That is amazing. Wow. Now I'm not saying that's that's something we should do or ever. I'm just I was I was thinking that's why they had 1,200 kids on a Sunday, and they said it was so full they did not have the facilities. They literally had to have classes on the buses. They pulled in the parking lot, taught class on the bus because they had no place to put 1,200 people. It was bonkers. They were used to 600, so now they're they're having many classes on the buses parked out in the parking lot, wow. and then they took them home. They said it, it was a great problem, but. They said that we finally realized you can saturate your facilities and you can't have effective Sunday school at a certain point. So, mm. <clears throat> yeah, wow. I am mind blown right okay, I know, so it hurt me. you borrow the Ontario Convention Center? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be crazy. So, I'm so put on minimum of <laughs> two hours at least. Well, and, and so the, the, the biggest revelation I got out of all that, and I've heard variations of stories like these through, through, through the years, is the more time you spend, the more kids you're going to get. Yeah. So how much do we want? Yeah, just oh, that's, we want yes. So so you know I I am putting myself up against that and thinking I am not matching up Same. at all. Yeah. So I didn't know I was gonna come here to be convicted. <laughs> I, I'm not convicting I I anybody but myself. Yeah, we right. can do better. Now I'm not I, I don't know have the solution to it, but we have a lot of people working bus ministry. And I was thinking if we combined all the hours of all of our bus workers together and how many hours a week are we doing outreach out of the, I don't know, what do we have, 40 people probably helping on bus yeah. ministry? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say those 40 people. Combined, how many hours of outreach are we doing? I'm not even going to guess. I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's, it's, it's probably not what Durham was putting in. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but it's a trip. So that I came back. With more than I left with, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, we got sidetracked, but uh, that we're actually talking about what we're supposed to talk about. <laughs> so not, uh, yeah, that's, that's true. <clears throat> that's true. So, what do we have going on next week? So, next week, we'll tell you we're going to talk about summit. Well, we're, we're going to talk about summit too, but we're talking about Joseph and his dreams next uh, next oh, week. Yes. And I have action songs again for two weeks in a row, <gasps> and, and I like action songs. Action songs make me happy. Excited. <clears throat> yes, I'm, I'm and excited. I have actually got put on the. The list? Yeah. Yes. Because you took yourself off, we would gladly put you on every week. But well, nobody wants to do the sound, so I'm stuck on that. <gasps> well, I'll do the sound. I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 okay. You're better at it. Is that how you felt this whole time? No. <laughs> you say that just So we have, we have this, this sound media card where we do our lights, our uh, projection, our two screens that are on the stage, uh, sound effects, and all of that. And Brother Danny 
is far more qualified to run that than anybody. Yeah, correct. However, we don't want to pigeonhole you in any way. I'm serious. We can we can train other people to, to do that, but you have have done a fabulous job. You've set the bar rather high. Yes. So now we know what we have to do. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I genuinely don't mind outside yes. of my action songs. No, no, it's on fine. Sunday. I don't mind at all. Yeah. No, see, I'm not, I'm not, you know, we'll all do the sound. Just put yeah. Everyone and do the sound. You do all Sunday school. They'll all do the sound. Yeah. Okay, well, it's a good trade. <laughs> yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll, all, we'll all be hunched over the computer. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Summit, Summit is coming up. Yes. Uh, Kingdom Kids Conference. It is, uh, I, 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 I think, Thanks. probably the premier apostolic children's conference. <laughs> it's not just for kids. It's a course for the parents, but it has oh, turned into kids. just a phenomenal conference. It's there was 320 the something yeah. kids there on the last night last year. So it's really big, but it's also very effective. We yes. have uh, the castle it's set so up. Sad, we have the meeting. You guys are doing it different this year. Oh, I'm sorry. So, oh. so if kids are listening to this, they're going to get a little sneak peek. But there is not just the castle as we know it. It's all. It's actually two castles, but it's not. <gasps> it's two it's kingdoms. One, it's one castle prop that is going to be duplicating itself. One is the castle of what is that noise? And that was the air. If you hear it a loud hum, we're just going to talk over it because we're not stopping. We're moving through. It was a mighty <coughs> rushing wind. <laughs> yeah. So the castle of, the castle of life. <laughs> we are derailed again. <laughs> People listening to this are like, you guys are psychotic. I can't go to their Sunday school. Um, the same castle is being used for two different kingdoms. The kingdom of darkness, kingdom of light. There's going to be different lighting and also double-sided uh Banners hanging, and so we can flip them to make them castle light, castle of darkness. That's pretty neat. Um, and then we have shields on the doors that will swap out for the different ones, and of course the lighting will be very different. Um, and we have all four good nights, five, or five good nights, have their parallel bad nights now. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Be fun. You know what? Forget. I could have been the fat night. Huh? <laughs> I could have been a good night, then been the fat night like every other night. What? <laughs> Yeah. If that's my bad night, it could have been the fat night. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a little tough. I'm, I already claimed that role as fat night, so oh. actually I'm a jester, so yeah. I guess not. I'm not confident. <clears throat> Thank you. No, I really There's wish I could have gone. I wish you all could have gone. Oh, yeah. In fact, last year, Toronto family, Estrada family were here. I don't think Keith's been or Bree's been. were there. <clears throat> that's right. I have not been Sarah fortunate Larry enough. Booker. Well, if you guys can, it is an epic event. But I have to give you a couple like really funny things that are in the script. I want to know, but I don't want to know. Well, just this little thing. I just so obviously we 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 teach lessons with these silly things. Yeah. But in the script, <clears throat> the evil king wants to get at the good king. Wants to tear down the castle, and so at one point they attack the good castle, and they're defeated. And Sir Bolden, who is Tyler Hodge, who is just the best Sir Bolden ever, <clears throat> does a dramatic. Uh, declaration at the end that you will never defeat us because truth will always prevail truth will set us free and he just kind of like nana is in the in the evil king's face the evil king goes back and he plots this terrible plot he said you want truth <laughs> i'll give you truth i'll give you so much truth you'll choke on it and so he puts a a truth potion in the food of the knights the good knights and so they can tell nothing but extreme truths like how much they dislike each other. Oh. And how Sir Bolden is the king's pet. And how, oh, you just want the throne, don't you? You're after the princess. That's what it is. And they're just they're just really taking pot shots at each other because that's the whole point that the evil king's plan is to overthrow the king by extreme truth. And the king comes out, the good king, and, and talks about how truth without compassion is is almost as bad as no truth at all. Like, you have to have truth with love. Oh, that's a wild lesson. It is. It's going to be a hoot. There's, a, there's another spot where the king is talking about how nothing should uh, ever come between you and the work of God. If anything offends you, you need to get rid of it. Like, if your eye offends thee, pluck it out. If your hand offends thee. And so after he leaves, one of the knights complains that he has a toothache. And it's really been bothering him. So the jester, myself, comes in with this massive pair of pliers. And we pull his tooth live. I know. Not really. But right. we... we you know, so we yank it out and blacken his tooth with like a piece of tape or something. Oh. And just be <laughs> really ridiculous. And the king comes back, No, what have you done? Oh. <laughs> I did exactly what you said. Yeah, I listened to you. So there's a lot of shenanigans, but, but it's also, it's also good. The Holy Ghost is poured out at the end of the night. Yes. <laughs> at the end of all that tooth yes. pulling. I request to stow away in a suitcase. I guess you, I think you have like a carry-on that you can fit in. I wish you guys could do that. Anyway, it's going to be a good event. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. Dangerous. Uh, we Gabe have some Baker. new faces. Gabe Baker from Shehalis, Washington is going to be there. <gasps> yeah. He's, so cool. helping. he's helping me with the script. So I, I wrote it. And now he's like helping me go through it and edit it and clean it up and find, you know, plot confusion and stuff. So he's really been a huge help with yeah. that. Um, and mm-hmm. some... Uh, we have that... Uh, uh, seems- Anyway, there's a bunch of bunch of new people. Um, in fact, Eric Strickland, you guys remember Eric? Yeah. Um, he's running one of the day services, and he has 13 Hope Corps people helping him. Was he on? Yes. Your, your uh-huh. Yes. I thought Italy. so. He was in Italy with you. Yeah. His actual name is Uncle E. Uncle. <laughs> ah, okay. So uh, Uncle E. Bree, your Hope Corps. Uh, friend Come is, is not coming down. <laughs> that was a good word. The, the other Hope Corps are coming, but not Brie. Oh. You're supposed to take offense right now. Oh, you're, not, yes. you're not even listening I'm sorry, enough. I wasn't paying offense. attention. How dare you? Yeah, I'm really offended. I distracted How dare her you? with a big word. She did. Uh, he did. Wow. She, anyway, wow. we're moving on. That's a whole other conversation <laughs> for another time. <laughs> we, we are out of control. Did you just assume? One day we have to record just so you guys That's can okay. see all of our side conversations <laughs> during. I actually tried one time to record with a camera. And I don't died. remember what happened. It yeah, died. is that what happened? It yeah, died. it was pedophile. <laughs> So, so I have a done. I'll bring my GoPro. Just put one like right on top of the thing, so it just sees. And all whoever that. talks, yeah, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like a oh, your face that would be like, oh, awesome. Is that what it's called? Zoom. Like, so yeah. the last place I was at, there's a there's a girl there, um, and she's like wildly passionate about Sunday school. It's awesome. She's the pastor's um, daughter-in-law. And she's really, really good. Like one of those like crazy, like D- Delaney, like like excitement levels yeah. and spontaneity. Anyway, she's really cool. But she's written like a, a Sunday school book for kids and stuff. And so she's trying to get it published. In fact, it's already no pretty much done. So we talked cool. about like making some sort of publishing house where that stuff, not publishing house, but a clearing house where we can all contribute stuff for sale. Yeah. You know, it's just a central location. Yeah. So she's. Headed working on that, Amazon. I think. Yes. Something, yeah. Yay! So all the stuff like uh, you guys, your Bible study could be on there. The object lesson yeah. books I wrote could be on there. Um, Pentazon. <laughs> What'd you call it? Pentazon. Pentazon. Pint- yeah, apos. Apos. Yeah. Pentazon. Okay. The, yeah. There's there's something there. That's a, we'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just just some place that stuff can is, be. I'm calling it the chat. It's going to be blown up with names today. Yeah. More than likely. Um, I got distracted. Where were we at? We're talking about the lady being really passionate about the publishing house. And yeah, but I was going somewhere no, with that, but I don't remember now. Kids ministry. <laughs> anyway, she she was uh, it, very excited. And I love going places because there's people just as excited yeah. as we are, just as passionate as we are, and they're all over the place. And we don't even know they exist until we meet them and we realize. At this, Summit. Yes. At Summit, yeah. where you meet a big chunk of Now I'm walking to them. Summit. <laughs> that is one of the things I can say about <laughs> us being asked to go to places. I love that because I get to meet other people because they're like oh what do I do and I'm like no what do you guys usually do what what do you think you know and get ideas and then yeah. try to bring them home mm-hmm. then I act like I came up with it <laughs> <laughs> I was good though but no, that's Later. one of the things I really love about going out too so and, and meeting other people that's awesome that's why I wish oh I hate it but we're not going to Summit and I wish because we meet cool people like I, know. I met the, the Zach and his wife but Zach Leo Leo. is yeah. awesome we were just at the Eric church this Sunday after peak, yeah. we're there Sunday morning. Uh, but they are awesome. They have a beautiful he church. Is a by the way. Bradshaw. He is the king. Bradshaw. Oh, Bradshaw's yeah. not going to be there this year. I Bradshaw, know. if you're hearing this, bro, get it together. It's come to peak or come to like. summit. <laughs> come to summit. Jason Astor is going to be there with boots. Yeah. Uh, Gabe so, Baker, uh, David Forrest, Logan, um, Logan uh, uh, Tyler Hodge, of course, yes, um, uh, Eric Strickland, David Claypool. If I could just make an early plug, I mean, these are all great people you're mentioning, but we get great people coming down to the Redland Seminar. Yes. I know yes. it's like, it's only like, what's, I don't know, eight months away, but like, please, like, yeah. think of that. Like, I, I, I start talking about it now. Be there it's the seminar. SEC Children's Ministry Workshop. It's right? Yes. yes. It's so amazing. be there. It's, you rub shoulders with these great people and all these people they just named and some more, and it's phenomenal. You oh, the Breedens. Go. How did I forget the yes, Breedens? the Breedens. They're it, so yeah. cool. I met them last year at the Midwest Junior Camp and uh, went there this year, and they are the coolest. So D was little Johnny when I was doing the Junior Camp, and he was <laughs> pretending he was a nine-year-old boy. He was so funny. 
like hilarious. We did the banana bandana skit together. Uh-huh. I was laughing so hard I couldn't talk, and he kept he knew it, and he kept doing stuff to make me laugh harder. It was so bad. I'm like, please stop. I can't breathe. <laughs> so he's a he's a hoot. He's wild. Your side starts hurting. <laughs> you that cramp in your room. My baby. The Tylers will be there. The Man Warrens will be there. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, there's so many people that that I, I'm just so excited. They're gonna be the Acres. Gonna be there. It's gonna be gonna be awesome. So um, if you if you're around and you can drive to Summit, do it. And we will tag you in. We will tag you in. Now I'm considering quitting my job and doing this summit. I do will quit okay. my job. Oh, um, let's not go that far. I, I would highly recommend. You know, if it's with the Lord, I'm sure it'll be okay. Yeah. It'll all you may not out. make it back. It'll all work out. God's got this. It was preached today. We're taking yeah. a bus. And see? All the Rialto's going yes. on a road trip. Speaking of, so he's talking about the Esther, um, the book of Esther, the story of Esther. We were just at uh, Sight and Sound in Branson. <gasps> And we saw Esther. It was amazing. Did you see it? No, but I want to go so bad. Oh, you just like reacted it's like you had just been there. It's on my bucket list. Okay, well, it's phenomenal. They told the story of Esther. Yeah, it's amazing so good. how well, um, anyway, what yeah. you're saying correlated. Oh, we'll find Correlated at the Bible. Air trip. <laughs> no, but, but, but they kept bringing up stuff like aggregate agri- and, and yeah. the stuff that I had never like really stood out to me. And he was so clear on yeah. where that word came from and the history yeah. of it. Because they were like. talking about how they were saying, like, like talking about how big of a deal was that he was an ag- like aggregate or whatever. And I was like, that's cool. Didn't know what that meant. And then he was like, oh, all oh, the buttons oh. lit up. All the connections connected. Yeah. But, but the reason I'm saying it is, is I have down in my notes. I, I mentioned this before that I have like a... When an idea strikes, I write it down because yeah. one day I want to do this in Sunday school. And in there is that that key phrase I kept hearing for such a time as this. And I want to tell the story of Esther from you know a, a, a young girl's perspective. And at the end, have her talk directly to the kids. Like like there will come a time oh where you will it will be your time. It's like such a time. It's like the museum of picture things that yeah. we did. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But it'll be it'll be the the whole story. Yeah. Maybe it'll take a whole Sunday or whatever, and we tell we it. Like the story of Esther, like but not, uh, not a exactly. You guys, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I was saying oh, you took a, a little shows. bit different angle on it. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like basically the same thing. Like like there was like bad people. Basically the same in that there was a girl named Esther in it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was phenomenal, by the way. Your take on it was really good, but it was not quite that angle. We we do though. Get like, hey, like people go out to Canada and be like, you were Esther. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. 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 She, you're still Raven. I know. Like, with that forever. Like, you're Raven. I'm like, oh no. But how good is going to be like to get down to that moment at yeah. the altar call and say, such a time as this? Like, maybe this is your yeah. time right now. I got you. So good. Oh, my word. Oh, I remember where I was going with it. Okay. With that girl that was yeah. excited. Yeah. Yes. Is she told me a story about a Sunday school play she had seen that I have got to get more information on and recreate it. At first, it's going to sound pretty dark, and it is dark. It's very dark. But it's a, it's a story that they did for kids um, about a, a girl, that a, a Jewish girl that was caught up in the Holocaust who was in a concentration camp, but she had a little lamb with her, and everywhere she went, she had the, I know it sounds like Mary had a little lamb. But anyway, she has this with her the whole time and all the stuff that she goes through at the end. I think the war is going over, uh, and then so all of the the guards decide we're just going to kill it, kill all the people that are left, and so they start killing them one by one, and they go to kill the girl, and she of course has the lamb in front of her, and the lamb takes the bullet for her, and so she's saved. Oh. But this is that based on a real story. This is, a is it really a real story? It's what they said. Uh. And so uh, anyway, they all leave, and this girl is saved because the lamb saved her life, and then the the spotlight goes to the cross, and Jesus is on the cross, how the lamb saved. Her. I and I was like, I, yeah, I that is be, so I stinking good. That. So I haven't told you one, but there's one that Brother Lee wants to do. That's okay. really good. So um, he wants to do one to where it's like Aiden and Kim. So Aiden's my eight year old son. Um, he they will come out and basically there, there will be it'll be like Bible days, and someone will go up to Aiden and be like, hey, like. Do you notice this little spot on Aiden? And Kim's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I, I've noticed it. And he goes, well, it's kind of flaky. And it looks like it's getting a little big. She goes, I, I, I know, I need to take him to the hospital and get looked at. Well, it comes out, it's leprosy. Mm-hmm. So Aiden gets kicked out, you know, he well then fast forward 20 years, now I'm sitting there on the side of the road, just it's like all messed up from leprosy, and Jesus comes by. 
And then, so the G. We could put hydrogen peroxide, thirty-five percent on you, and it'll like to give you real leper spots. Yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. really bleach, bleach your skin, I'm but it's okay. temporary. And so when he heals you, you just go away for twenty minutes. You come back, boom, you're healed. Boom. boom. Oh, this actually like is <laughs> so, a science thing. It's a thing. Oh. Except it hurts like the devil when it's on you. Oh. And so I don't know if you so want you to. Have to sacrifice. Well, like, I, I don't mean, know I... how the devil hurts, <laughs> but I'm gonna go. Ahead. Mm. Sorry, I'm a sorry, for... Julian. I'm gonna forfeit my right to that. So I don't know. Yeah. Good. So, I still think you should try. So, uh, but then Jesus comes and heals me, and then I go and I knock on the door, and I go back to I go back home oh, to wow. Kim. That would and be she's just like, wow, yeah. like, 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 look what Jesus. Did anyway. Okay, well, I don't know about you guys. Well, we got the story from the Bagland. I guess there's a story that he does, and he's like, we should tie it in. You know, so good. We'll start to collecting it. scabs now. Kind of just cover you when I'm when, when right. the time comes. Uh, thank you, Keith. <laughs> that was a Keith moment. In case you guys okay. <laughs> okay. collect scabs. That, uh, okay, that, you're that, being I need to see a jar level. full of yeah. scabs on yeah. my yeah. windowsill. You never know when they'll come in handy. That is so That's disgusting. disgusting. Okay. Okay. Moving right. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I so feel so like we levels. need to do the, the Easter skit again. We did it once. It was so good. Are we talking Easter or Esther? Easter. I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That sounded the same. We need to do Easter. Easter or Easter? It's Easter, not the Easter. Emphasis is important. I genuinely didn't know if she just e- had a weird accent. It's like Visalia or Visalia. E A S T. How about we call it the Passion Play? The Passion Play. That was a lot of fun. We need to do the Passion Play because we did it once. And it was so good. There was just kids like sobbing even after buses had left. Did we have wait, when Seth? Was that? Is that when oh, Seth was Jesus? That's yes. right. Yes. This was two years and he ago. Was yes. I was a demon possessed man. I, I played. Oh, that's oh, that's right. Right. Possessed. Yes. I have a video of that. So I, was, I was concerned. He was so possessed, he freaked me out. And I, just, I, yeah, I, 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 I knew what was happening. That was like my first, like, yeah. few. Yeah. Like, it was like you was, he was, like, just it was like you were acting out the orangutan, but with a demon. <laughs> oh, oh, the orangutan. You got possessed by an orangutan. <laughs> I think you did it so well that Seth like forgot all his lines. Oh, like, you, I don't know he, he genuinely lines. freaked Seth out. Yeah, he's like, okay, because he grabbed Seth's leg. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh, Seth was supposed to cast a demon. Yes. He couldn't talk. So, like, Jesus, this is your line. So, Seth is a young man who is not a teacher in our Sunday school class. And he but he got, played Jesus. He played Jesus in our church play, and mm. he got brought in for Sunday school, and he's such a good Sucker sport. Him. Yes. He's like, yeah, you know. And he did not know what he signed up for. <laughs> he didn't know Keith was going to be eating his him. leg. It wasn't even just Keith. It was everybody. The jokes. Yeah. Like, there was Pop-Tarts pulled out. And he's oh, like, what is yeah. happening? It's and then, I, okay, I was, I was doing sound well. that year. And I, <laughs> during, the, during the boat, when like, they're on the boat, and then he has to calm the storm. So I kept, I, they told me whenever they would push the lightning, they would jump. So I kept pushing it. And so I just got to look like this. <laughs> they can't see <laughs> did you guys hear her turning her head it was, did you hear her eyes very went? slow and dramatic yeah. let me just tell you and he, she was glaring yeah I was like, picture in your mind's heart we'll show you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bottom line is there's a lot of really cool plays that we get, we need to practice and record yeah. and record the Joseph skit that one that's was a, so that's fun did we record, yeah. that? we record that right I think at the conference didn't we or did we actually oh, record Are you talking about the one you guys did at VBS? No, no. Just, you guys, they did it for junior camp, but we did it last year at VBS, or at, at the Children's Ministry Workshop. And yeah. then, During and the we had done it. Statement. Yeah, we, we had done it for Sunday school it? first. I don't know. Uh, no. At the, I thought if we did, it was at the conference. It was recorded at the conference, but not at okay. junior camp or uh, here. Got it. here. We well, we have that one. That one's fun. There's a lot of really cool ideas out there, and we just got to got to. Do them. We are 53 minutes in. Are there any other topics we need to hit? We have been all. I mean, there's topics. And this is just the intro. There are topics we can't hit. (laughs) But. I mean. (laughs) I think, in the interest of time, it's 10 20 p.m. It's after church. We probably got to wrap it up unless you guys have something else. I don't even know where my kids are. I can make some. Me neither. I don't know if I'm we perfect. actually recorded a podcast. I, I, I have something on Wait, in a file. Wait, is this button supposed to be red if it's on view? I'm watching the waveform. Yeah. I can't yeah. yeah. record oh, it. I just I'm saw the like, the the all 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 time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm sorry we've been scattered. As you can tell, we haven't been together for a podcast for some time. And so Please we are just so yeah. excited to be around one another again. We can't contain ourselves. <coughs> and so we had a little bit of a uh, Is everybody here this Sunday? 
I think I'm not. Oh. Tristan's not? I'm not rest. on the schedule, but I can be put on the schedule. We have a united yeah. team. You can put me on the schedule. Keith was off last day. month. Yeah, I've been I gone. Think. You were gone. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be yeah, like... Yeah, half the family's been missing. I like know. a family reunion? Summer was rough. Mm. Oh, Summer's God. always rough. Summer was like... I feel like it was like double Summer this Summer's brutal. Yeah, like we were gone. Like Everybody's gone. Oh, it's bad. Anyway, we love you all. We will catch you later. Uh, we will... Try to get do another one next week. Yeah, whether we're here or at Summit, wherever we're at. All right, God bless. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I'm clapping. You just can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs>